love along the way. Here's your story, and I'm going to tell it just so I can keep it manageable. Sure. When you were 10 years old, right before your 11th birthday, mm -hmm. your dad committed suicide. Your yep. dad was a veteran. Your dad suffered from PTSD and depression, mm -hmm. and he took his own life. Correct. And you have dedicated your music career to combat veteran suicide. Right. You have started a nonprofit called Operation Hemingway to do that. And every single night you are talking about this epidemic, this mm -hmm. tragic epidemic that's sweeping our country. And tell people now, again, how many veterans take their own lives every single day? It's, it is marketed at 22 per day. It's down to about 20. So there's progress being made. Yeah. But, but still uh, so. But yeah, still, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's 20 too many. Absolutely. So what I want you to do right now is I want, we all want to talk about your dad. Okay. And I got this, another singer songwriter that's been on the show recently lost his mom in a car accident, a little different situation, but he wrote a song about sitting at a bar with her mm -hmm. and what they would talk about. So that's my question for you out of the gate here. You and your dad are sitting at a bar. Yeah. What do you guys talk about? Dad had a pretty, dad had a pretty bold life. Um, we, we came from this, this very gritty farm background. You know, we, we, there were 13 of us that lived there. And he grew up, and I, and I see pictures of him, and he was just such a wild man. Just had this, this long, crazy hair, and you know, always running around with his shirt off, and you know, tattoos, and dating women, and running wild with all his brothers back in Kentucky. And then he joined the military because that was his way to to get out of the house and met my mom and had me. And the man that I knew growing up was the most devoted, sweet, soft-spoken, you know, like it's just night and day. And he was all about making sure that the family was taken care of. And I, th I think I'd really like to talk to him about that experience. Cause that's, that's changed a lot for me, you know, with my background and some of the stuff that you know that I've been through and some of the dumb decisions that I've made and, you know, whether it was drugs or alcohol or, you know, wild women or whatever it was that I was doing. I don't have a lot of regrets, but one of the regrets that I do have is, is being too selfish while the, uh, while my kids were young. And now I'm trying to make up for a lot of lost time with my daughters, wishing that I had devoted myself to them the way that my dad did to me. And if I could sit down and have a chat with him right now, I'd want to talk about what that was like for him and, and all that motivation to be such an incredibly great family man. And I'd probably like, it'd probably be a big confessional for me about what a jerk I feel like. Um, but you know, a lot of that came from, and I've had to come to terms with the fact that my childhood was taken from me. You know, when, when he died, I became responsible for a lot of family. And you know, taking care of my my sister at the time, and then my uh, my mom had another um, child about a year later on, and I'm as close, or maybe even closer, sometimes with my youngest sister now. I am with my sister that I had, you know, even back then. And uh, I, when I finally got the chance to get out of the house, I, I stretched my legs pretty far. You know, I, I did everything for me because I felt like everything had been about other people for so long. Right. And that was, and it was a really negative time in my life. It's a time in my life that I'm, you know, pretty embarrassed about, honestly, because here I should have been, you know, raising my kids and, and being a good stand up guy like my dad was. And I was running wild. I was just running wild. And it wasn't until, it, it wasn't until that I went to jail and, and lost so much of my life that, that that finally changed for me. And I, made up my mind that I'm not going to be that guy ever again. I suppose that I don't know how many lives I've lived before, whether I've done wrong or right along the way. But you think that now I'd learn how to keep from getting burned, should have gained that wisdom long before. 